We're just 36 days away from Election Day, and already there are allegations of voter fraud to combat these concerns. Senator John McCain has established the Honest and Open Election Committee, headed by former Senators John Danforth and Warren Rudman. The committee has focused its attention on the organization ACORN, which has ties to Barack Obama and has been accused by several states of fraudulent voter registration. The committee hopes to work with Democrats to ensure a fair election this November. And joining us now is former Senator John Danforth. Senator, good to have you back on Hannity and Combs. Uh, good to be with you. Is, is, this, is there a political angle here, an attempt to tie Barack Obama to this organization he worked for 15, 20 years ago? They've had some problems, well, some allegations is. of fraud, but is, this, is there a political angle here where there's an attempt on, by Republicans to tie them together? Well, they are tied together. Uh, Barack Obama t has taught courses, classes for ACORN. Uh, he has uh, run a project called Project Vote for ACORN. He has served as a legal counsel for ACORN. He's received contributions from the ACORN PAC. Uh, his campaign has contributed over $800,000 to ACORN, so there's clearly a tie. But let me say this, I, I think that when we think that the whole question of honest elections is bipartisan, it, it shouldn't be something that's just the province of Republicans, it should be shared by Democrats too, because if it's a close election, we certainly want to put the election behind us and not have the, yeah. the party that loses say that it's been cheated. Everybody wants what you're talking about, which is open, fair elections. But even though Acorn's had some legal problems, and in fact, the last time uh, they tried to accuse Acorn of voter fraud in 2004, there was a counterclaim of defamation, which Acorn won. Uh, there's no evidence that Barack Obama himself has anything to do with those negative allegations against Acorn. There certainly isn't any evidence that Barack Obama is personally encouraging fraud, but there are some serious situations in the country. I mean, in, in the state of Colorado, when the same person is registered 35 or 40 times, uh, or in Ohio, where there are counties where there are more people who are registered to vote than voting age people, or in the state of Michigan, where hundreds of thousands of names are turned in, enough to swamp the system, and the Secretary of State claims that there are a lot of duplications and, and cases of fraud, I mean, this is a serious matter, and, and I'm, we are not pointing the finger at Senator Obama or any other individual. In fact, what we're doing is trying to reach out to Democrats and say that this is a bipartisan issue, that both parties should have an interest in open and fair elections, and both parties should have an interest in hey, not, uh, not only having every qualified person vote, but not having anybody stuff the uh, the ballot box. Hey, Senator, thanks for being with us. You know, it was funny in the last segment, Alan used the term, uh, here when Senator McCain puts his country first, tries to work on a solution to uh, what Barack Obama says is the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. Obama phones it in. Uh, Senator McCain goes to Washington to hope broker a deal. If we're going to talk about erratic, if we look at ACORN and we look at their background, now Obama represented ACORN in a suit in Illinois. He has $800,000 to ACORN get out the vote efforts. You know, it seems like every time I turn around, Senator, that Barack Obama is tied to radicals. He's still friends with, gives speeches with, and sits on a board with an unrepentant terrorist. He still stayed in that church for 20 years. Why hasn't the issue of Barack Obama's judgment you know, in terms of the radical associations, including ACORN, why, haven't the, why hasn't it hurt him in the polls? Our, our open and honest election committee is not really geared toward trying to attack uh, Senator Obama or claim that he's affiliated with left-wing organizations. Well, he is. Or claim that ACORN is left-wing or anything. All we're saying is that we don't want a fraudulent uh, situation on election day. Well, and this we year, want to work with uh, the other party to try to accomplish open elections and fair elections and not elections where, as I say, people are stuffed in the ballot box. The, the problem, Senator, is this year alone, ACORN has been involved in incidents in Michigan, New Mexico, Nevada, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, interestingly, all swing states, that they've been uh, undermining the registration effort by filing false and incomplete forms by the thousands. Obama's got extensive ties and financial contributions. But does, uh, putting aside the, just the acorn issue, does William Ayers bother you? You're a pastor. Does Reverend Wright bother you? Does, does this pattern of associating with radicals bother you? 
Well, I'm strongly for John McCain, and I think that there are very clear choices in this election dealing with the economy, dealing with taxes, dealing with America's place in the world, with foreign policy, with international trade, and that these are issues that should be debated. And I think on every single one of them, Senator Obama is on the wrong side, and on every single one of them, I agree with yep. Senator McCain. So this really is an election about change. It's a clear choice between two candidates on very, very important issues, right. but that's not exactly what we're up to with our committee. Got it. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate you being with us. We're going to be in uh, St. Louis on uh, Thursday night. Hopefully we'll see you there. Thank you for being with us. Great.